Hey Capricorns, welcome to your general reading. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody, unfortunately. I do personal readings though, and my email will be in the description box as always. This is being published in June, um, but it's just really for when you see it. I have um, monthly readings out for June. Um, if you haven't seen them, you can check them out or your moon signs or crosswatch, anything you like here. So let's see what we have for Capricorn. What's going on? Make the effort. Oh my God. This card has come out in nearly every reading. You know, along with the Eight of Swords. So it's like people are really in their head and being guided here. And it says, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I feel like at this time there's major shifts in energy and people following their instinct here. Wedding. This situation involves a marriage. Okay. Oh, Capricorn, reconciliation, is it not what you want to see? Is it what you want to see? Let me know. I'm sure enough people are going to shout at me saying, I don't want to reconcile with anybody. Hey, it's not me. It's the cards. Okay, guys? So, yeah, someone from your past is returning to your life. So, guess what? Make the effort. <laughs> look good all the time just in case you bump into them <laughs> especially if you want to tell them i don't want to be with you you know <laughs> make sure you look good right <laughs> okay let's see here what we have going on for capricorn oh the two of cups it's your soulmate returning wanting to make an effort for you guys cross watchers if you're watching for a capricorn the message is always for the watcher so it almost feels like this two of cups like yes this is your soulmate make the effort oh my god who just had this leo just had this combination reunions all over the place capricorn Reuniting with your soulmate. <laughs> oh gosh. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Celebrations, reunions, you know. Um, pregnancies for some here. <laughs> so be careful if that's not what you want. Marriages as well with the Three of Cups. The World card. Wow. New cycle beginning here with your soulmate. Wow. I mean, I really as much as you don't want this to turn into a re reunited. You know what, I was trying to say reunion and um, in my mind the song was um, reunited and it feels so good. I don't even know who sings that at the moment, I can't think, but it was like reunited and it feels so good. Yeah, and in the world card, she's looking back this way also. So it definitely feels like beginning a new cycle here with somebody you consider your soulmate wow four of pentacles somebody you never let go of somebody who never let go of you and i feel with this four of pentacles here um you may have been a little bit cautious or they may have been a little bit cautious but they never let go they could have kept all their cards close to the chest and maybe not communicated how they felt or what they're doing. But it's like they never truly let go of you here. The Hierophant. Look at that. Another marriage card. Wow. This is a divine union. Or divine reunion here this is definitely how it's looking to me so I'm gonna show you guys here um, look at this it just looks like 
a divine reunion. Tell me if you see anything different. For those who want to shout at me and say, I don't want somebody else back from the past, tell me. Look. What else do you see? What else do you see? I mean, it's just slapped in our face here. And you know, with the three marriage cards out here, maybe they're coming back in to make this for good. This could just be a life partner who you don't traditionally marry, but um, it does seem with the Hierophant here, the tradition will be followed here. Five of Pentacles, you felt lost without this person or they felt lost without you here. You definitely felt the lack. So this is definitely for people who want their soulmate back because this Two of Cups is reciprocation. It's wanting each other, wanting to make a go of it. And this lasting a long time because of the Major Arcana here, this World card, this Hierophant, it's divine. So like, it's like one of you was feeling, you know, the lack, the loss without them and missing them here. But the other one was maybe focused on money, on the four of pentacles, but never let go. Just but they had other things to sort out. They felt the lack, but they was trying to take control of it. Look at that. Like I said, this is for somebody who's wishing for this union here between their soulmate. Somebody who's wishing for this reconciliation. Definitely feels like wish granted. Let's see if we can get any cards about timing then. It seems like it's imminent. So, I mean, I think when I started the video... I'll check when I put it up, but I, I feel like divine waiting. I mean, yeah, divine timing was at the bottom of the deck there. So worth waiting for card. So, hang on a sec. Oh, two of swords. Indecision held you back. Indecision held you back here. You know, that feeling of lack was what stopped you making a move let's say maybe your pride got in the way or your ego and you just felt like because i don't have enough information from them i can't make a decision to go towards them they left me out in the cold here so it's indecision was holding you back maybe you tried to move on but they was always in your mind here with the four of pentacles Sorry, I left my window open and the street's getting rather busy. Ten of Swords. The worst is over now. You never lost faith here. You never lost faith. I feel like the biggest thing that held you back was pride, um, which brought around indecision. So maybe you was speaking to friends or family or anybody into existence. I don't want them. But deep in your down in your heart, you wanted them or, you know, you used to go home and think about them. But constantly, you know, um, fighting yourself, your higher self, what it actually wanted. And it seems like making a decision here with the two of cups um, takes away the indecision and helps you to move forward. The worst is now over. It's now time to, you know, reap the reward if you've done the work here. Ten of Cups, look at that. Look what this brings you. Emotional fulfillment. This reconciliation brings you emotional fulfillment. You go from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. I mean, we have so much 
cups here. So there's so much love here. The two of cups, the three of cups, the nine of cups, the ten of cups. I love that they're all positive. There's going to be a change here. There's going to be a shift in energy that you're going to feel and know. Decide to step away from that feeling of lack and allow it to come in. Good luck, guys. <laughs>